Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 5 of your Bucket Plugin Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at player events, so this is going to be kind of a very straightforward tutorial just to solidify our knowledge within events, uh, as last episode we went over in a little bit more detail. So, in our player package we made last tutorial, we're going to make a new class and we're going to type player uh, chat. So, this is going to be whenever a player chats in, in chat. And the interface we're going to add is listener. So this is a an easier way of just typing implements listener every time at the top of every class. We can just go into interfaces, click add, search for listener, hit finish, it nicely imports it for us, it's all good. So, like before we need to type at event handler, hit control space to make it easier for us. Um, and then public void on player chat. The name of the method does not, it's not, uh, doesn't have to be anything in specific, but uh, it's good to make it organized. So in brackets, the one for this is a little bit different. Um, it's async player chat event. Um, and we're going to nickname this event. Now if we hover over that, we can import that. Um, so what this does is it fires the event um, differently to other events. It's asynchronous. Um, so that's why it's a little bit different. It's got this async at the start of it instead of just being player chat event. Uh, you can look at that more on the uh, the documents online if you wish to, um, but I'm not going to go into too much detail now. So, what we can do with this method is we can check uh, who's chatted, what they've chatted, we can set what they've chatted, we can set certain things, but all we're going to do is we're going to make, like before with the, uh, the whitelist thing here, uh, we're just going to make it so that the player can uh, not say a certain word. So then the player is not going to be able to say bananas. Uh, in this plugin. So, first of all, we're going to have to get the player. So, like for player player equals event dot get player. Uh, make sure the player is imported, of course. Uh, and now we can see what the event does. So, if we type event dots, we'll see we have all of these things. Um, so, we can set the message, we can set the format, set cancelled. So, we can cancel set player sending message, we can um, get the message, all this kind of thing. So, we're going to want to get the message, and the message is of the type string. So, if we type string, uh, message equals event dot get message and that's going to get the message for us we don't have to import string because it's built into all of job um, <clears throat> so now we want to check if the message contains the word banana so if voice crack if message dot contains or actually first of all we want to make sure that we're checking the right cases so we want to convert this message to lowercase. So at the end of event.getMessage, we're going to type dot to lowercase. So this converts the whole message to a lowercase format. So now we want to check if the message contains the, the bad word. So if message contains, and then in our brackets, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and then in our parentheses, quotation mark, because that's the one, contains banana. Bana I don't even know if that's how spell, oh, you spell banana. I'm going to go with yes. So if the message contains banana, and then open this up. We're going to say event dot set cancel true. And we're going to send the player a message. We're going to say player dot send message in red again because red is danger. We're going to say that is a naughty word. You may not use it. Exclamation mark. With a dash in the middle. So that's essentially it. And like before, we're going to have to register our event in our register events thing. So if we copy this here, and instead of block break, we want player chat and import it using control shift O, or you could hover over it. So let's go through this again. We're getting the player who's chatted. We're getting the message that they've sent, and then we're going to convert it to lowercase. And if this message contains banana, make sure because it's all lowercase, we need to put everything in here lowercase. Then we're going to cancel the event so they haven't chatted and the player will be sent a message saying that they cannot use that word. So if we hit export, next, finish, I'll load up the server and I'll see you in the Okay, so we're in the game, and I'm going to type a few messages, so blah, 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 hello, see, so we're sending all these messages. But now if I type banana, ben, banana, I'm gonna copy this, but ben, I spelled it horribly wrong. Banana, it's gonna say, that's a naughty word, you might use it, and you'll see it hasn't actually sent the message. Now if I type a message with banana in it, so banana is good, it's still going to say that's not your word, you may not use it. And if I type a word saying like banana, 
and then pancakes, pan, pan, okay, I'm just going to put it like that. It's still a naughty word, so it doesn't matter how the banana is used, it could be used anywhere, so it could be used randomly, uh, like here, and then have lots of stuff after it, so it's hidden, and it will still be, you know, found, because this message contains the word banana. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next tutorial.